Although new motors are getting more and more reliable, there are a few maintenance items that you need to see under the hood. First of all, how to open the cowling. There are three hatches to open a Yamaha cowling. One on each side, and one on the front. Once those three latches are pulled, you lift the cowling straight up. One of the most important things when removing the cowling is that, <clears throat> is that you don't catch any wires on your way up and out. It's often good to have someone help you as they can be bulky and difficult to lift. So on this side of the motor, the main maintenance point is right here. That's your oil dipstick. As the, mo as the motor is breaking in, it is good to check the oil fairly regularly. It's good to check it while it's warm. We'll head over to the other side and check out some more maintenance items. As we come around to the port side of the motor, you can still see that the motor is really heavily shrouded. Yamaha and other modern motor manufacturers do this to protect the sensors uh, and the wiring in the, in the cowling. It also further highlights the maintenance items. So, you can see our oil filter right there is very easily accessible. This motor, the service interval, is initially at 20 hours for the break-in oil change and then every 100 hours subsequently. If winter storage comes before that 100 hours, you should do it annually at the winter storage. Yamaha and us at Buckeye, we recommend Yamalube oil for ya your Yamaha engines. We run a 10W30 in our climate. Um, it's going to ensure the best wear on your motor and it's going to make sure it protects it throughout the entire temperature range. Also during that winter service uh, we recommend an oil change, uh, gear oil change. Again, Yamalube protection for that gear oil. The other maintenance item at the front of this motor here, as you see right there, it's the main fuse panel. If ever you're in a situation where you had an electrical failure in the boat, um, you can check this main fuse panel to make sure you haven't blown any fuses. Another important maintenance uh, item on this boat, on the port side, on every Yamaha motor, right front there, that's where your serial number is. It's a really good habit um, for your boat to take a photograph of both the engine serial number and the boat serial number so that whenever you come in for service at any marina, if you have those serial numbers handy, um, they'll know the proper oils, the proper lubricants, and any maintenance parts that this boat might need and they're not going to have to search for uh, for what it is based on the model year and date changes. We're going to go and have a look at the front of the motor and I'll show you a couple last maintenance items. The final maintenance items are out here on the front. Up top that's the engine oil fill. Everything that has to do with the oil system is labeled in yellow. So that's why you can see here our fill is yellow and our dipstick down here is yellow. When filling, draining, <clears throat> and checking the oil, you want to make sure that the engine sits level. It's very important to check your manufacturer's specifications to see exactly how much oil these engines should have. Too much can do just as much damage as too little oil. The second item is up front here. It's a water separating fuel filter. Most boats have not only this water separating fuel filter on the Yamaha motor, but also a second onboard filter. The onboard filter has a little bit more capacity, but this is a second measure to make sure that the best gasoline is making it to your boat. Normally, if this had water in it, you could see a line where the water is. There's a small filter in there that's going to also not only protect you from particulate, but also from water. <clears throat> With that said, those are the main maintenance items on your Yamaha outboard.